Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we are going to do some roofing. Uh, I got a request to do uh, roof tiles and uh, so that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to expand on that a little bit. And I'm going to explain how to create the roof of a house with roof tiles. So the, the boarding and so forth. Okay. So before we get into that, uh, you need to keep in mind that modeling roof tiles is not always a great idea. For example, let's say you're modeling a house for a game scene. Now the roof tiles will create a lot of polygons in your scene, which will uh, make it a very heavy scene, high poly count, and it will lag and so forth. So um, although you do, uh, you can model it uh, when you want to use it in a game engine, for example, it would make sense to kind of transfer that detail with, uh, you know, using maps and so forth. But that said, let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating simple uh, shingles. Okay, so we'll take a uh, polygon plane, something like that. Go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Multiple Edge Loops. Let's do five and let's select them and hit Q on your keyboard. Okay. Switch to your top view, right click Vertex, drag select these vertices, hit W, move that out, skip one at both ends move that out and select the one in the middle and move that out until you get this nice curve okay we're gonna right click go to object mode we're gonna go to edit mesh extrude click on thickness let's do 0 0.1 to give it some thickness and we'll hit 5 for shaded mode so we can see what's going on okay and there is your roof tile now let's soft select this. So um, we're gonna go to edit mesh, insert edge loop. Once again, option mode, normal setting. And we're gonna add one right there, close to the end. And one over here. Hit Q on your keyboard, object mode, and hit three on your keyboard, which will give you this smooth version if you will okay select it control d to duplicate w to move it over and we're just going to set these two next to each other and ideally speaking keep a tiny gap between these two let's do let's do this all right then we're going to hit Shift D. A bunch of times until we get well, maybe a bit more. Until we get that. Drag select it. Mesh combine. Modify center pivot. So that's our initial row. Now for our next row, Control D to duplicate. Pull it back. F to zoom in. We're going to move that over until the center is a half of shingle off, if you know what I mean. Okay. Now, as you can see, you will have a situation where at this end you've got some stuff sticking out. So right click face, drag select these faces, and hit delete. And at this end, you have a bit too much going on. So select that, right click face, drag select, and hit delete. Okay. Now, when you check these two, and we'll do this from this view right here, they're completely flat. So you're not going to see any detailing. Okay. So we're going to raise that one. And let's see if I got those combined. Mesh combined, hope so. Yeah, I already got it. So we're going to raise that. We're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that a little. Then take that guy. Actually, that's a bit much. 
take that one. Move that up. Hit E. Oop. And just move that up a little bit. Take these two. Control D to duplicate. Move that over and move that up. Actually, this angle is a bit off, so Control Z to undo that. We're just going to rotate that one a bit more. And just leave a little bit of spacing in between so when your lights are set, you can see some detailing. Okay, so select them both. Control D to duplicate, W to move over and move up. And as you see, as you can see, the gap is always the same, right? So these, the top one and the bottom one are aligned, top one and bottom one are aligned and so forth, okay? We're gonna hit Shift D a couple of times to duplicate that. And now, if I just simply create some light, point light, pull that up, hit seven on my keyboard, you can clearly see the detail of the roof, okay? And then you can apply uh, materials to that and so forth. <clears throat> now, what we'll do is we'll select the whole thing, mesh, combine, and you can already see that the poly count is huge, right? Like I explained. We're gonna rotate the whole thing to simulate the side of a house. And obviously you would have a similar side on the other end. Now, <clears throat> what you would do here is you would create uh, the side of the house. Um, Let's just say that this is your house. Let's get that into position. Right click vertex. Just going to move that up there. That doesn't really matter that much. Okay. So what you would do here is, uh, First of all, move this guy in position. And I'll just turn off that light. There we go. What you would do here is you would create a board. So take a polygon cube, drag that out, drag that up just a little bit. Move that in until it's sitting next to our house move that up and from this view what you would do is let's tweak our roof first a bit take that vertex move that there and take that I want to move that out okay fine take that board bring it in here hit F to zoom in R to scale it down, push it back a little, and push that up a little. And then again, you know, the shape of this house, it's not too relevant right now, but you can select that vertex, bring it up, and so forth. So you would get something <coughs> looking like, and I'll just turn the light back on. There's my light. So you can kind of see what's going on there. So that would give you something like so. All right. So, and then uh, for the sides and for the top, and I'll just simply demonstrate that. For the top, for example, you would take a polygon cube, pull that up, make sure it's square. So we'll do 
10 by 10. Okay. And we'll simply right click go to face, get rid of these faces, get rid of the end faces, which leaves us with this. Right click object mode, edit mesh, extrude, go to thickness. 0.1 that didn't take for some reason try that again add a mesh extrude there we go so you see that your uh, trim if you will has some thickness right click object mode modify center pivot move it over Move it up, and then from this view here, you would rotate that to a point where it's fitting the angle of your house. Now, this is not exactly 45 degrees, but that's fine. We'll just uh, scale this way down to something that looks okay for your roof. W, move that up until we are there. And then you can right click, go to vertex, drag select these, hit R, and just scale them out until they do fit your, your roof. Okay. Like that. So you would get. something similar to this okay object mode and delete and you would do the same for this row here and that row there okay so that's one method now I'm just gonna get rid of these shingles here the second would be to actually create roof tiles okay now that's fairly basic we're gonna take a polygon cube Give that some height. Go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Multiple Edge Loops. Let's do eight. Add them right there. And hit Q on your keyboard. Close that. Let's see where we're at. Okay, that's not the angle we're looking for. This is, okay. Just going to simply take my house and move it out of the way like that right click vertex we're going to take these three and start to bring that up and these three and start to bring that down and we'll kind of tweak it in a way that the start will be hitting the grid line here until we get this kind of S shape going on here okay now we can quickly check to see if we're good by selecting it hit control D to duplicate and we move this over this should be a good fit like that okay delete so we're going to select that guy now the thing here is if you had an actual roof tile you would have um, just undo that you would have sections where they would hold on to the roof on the bottom and so forth but because this is a 3d model that's not relevant so we don't have to do that we are going to add some edge loops so we're going to go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool option box Go to your regular setting and then add one over at the end here and at the end over here. Right click object mode and we'll hit uh, three on our keyboard, which will give you this nice smooth tile. All right. So then if you hit control D to duplicate that, 
and move that over to a point where these two are snug together if you will and you hit shift D you create a row of roof tiles drag select all of these guys mesh combine modify center pivot and now let's see we'll do it from this angle here Control D, W, F to zoom in. Okay, and we're gonna hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. Okay, now what you see here is that although, and I'll just get rid of my house here, although it looks good from this angle, what you miss is the height. And I'll show you what I mean. We're going to take these rows and we're going to hit W. And we're going to bring that up just a bit. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go back a few steps. Get rid of our house. And we'll do that from the beginning. So select that, hit E to rotate that slightly. Uh, sorry, wrong way. To rotate that slightly. Control D to duplicate. W to move that over to about there. And then Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. which will give you this look right here. And that's what you're looking for, right? <clears throat> now, two more things. Uh, what if you want to have the roof tiles on the edge of the house and on the top of the house, okay? Now, for the top of the house, that is not too complicated. What we can do is we can take a polygon cylinder, pull that up, bring the uh, subdivision down to five. Okay. We're going to right click at a face and we're going to delete these faces. So for one edge, right click object mode, I'll just Hit E and rotate that a bit so we can see what's going on. You could use that. And what you would do is go to Edit Mesh Extrude 0 0.1 for thickness. And again, for some reason, that didn't take. Try that again. Edit Mesh Extrude. It's a bit thicker, but it doesn't really matter, okay? And then, right click object mode. Okay, we don't want that. We're gonna add some edges. Insert edge loop, option box, regular setting, all right. We're gonna move on down there, move on there. Move on down there, one there, one there. That should help. Object mode, three on our keyboard. Yeah, we need to add some more, but you get the idea, okay? We'll just, uh, I'll actually do that. That should help. And one here. Right click at object mode. Much better. Okay. So you would have that, right? And then for the next one, you would take this guy, take out the front faces, and have them overlap to the end. Okay. 
So that's a simple way to create uh, roof tiles. Uh, and again, if you want to apply this uh, in a game scene or whatnot, uh, a couple of other, other methods you could use. Uh, what you could do is use a displacement map, um, or you could um, you know, use normal maps and uh, transfer the detail. So that's it for this tutorial. If you've got any questions, let me know as always. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.